Today in the Fresh Brew Run Club, I'm reviewing the Shoe Racing Socks. Welcome back to the Fresh Brew Run Club. So today's video, I'm going to do a review of the shoe racing socks. So I was scrolling Instagram one day and just flipping through a bunch of pictures of shoes, beautiful sunrise runs with perfect photography. And I happened to see an ad that really caught my eye and that was for shoe socks. And what caught my eye about this ad, the fact that this sock design matches the exact shoe that I am planning on running a marathon in later this year. Now, you might say, who cares if a sock matches a shoe? I say, I care a lot about that. In fact, I am already planning out what I'm going to wear for a marathon at the end of October. So I clicked on the ad, I did a little bit of research, I found out that this actually looks like a pretty cool company. Now, I am not being paid to promote shoe socks. They did not give me these socks. I bought them with my own money. They don't even know I'm making this video, but I wanna do a review of these socks because I haven't run in them yet. They came in the mail, I'm very excited about these. But essentially, shoe socks was started by a guy who was looking to find socks that matched his super shoes. I think they were the, the Nike Vaporfly blue ribbons. He couldn't find anything that matches. He wanted to make something that looked good, but also a really high quality product. So according to the website, nine months of research went into developing the shoe sock, which shoe is a combination of the words shoe and you, and the resulting product were shoe socks. So there's two types. They're a training type for like everyday runs, and then there's the racing type. So I bought two pairs of racing socks. I got the ankle socks and I got the crew socks. I'm gonna test out the ankle socks today because that is typically what I run uh, races and marathons in. So what I'm gonna do today is go out on about a six to seven mile run and just give my thoughts on these socks. One of the things I've been frustrated with lately is how the Nike socks have not fit me very well. So I have been running in the same pair of these beat up Nike socks there are holes in them. They're completely falling apart because the newer Nike socks don't fit me at all. The true to size socks that I'm supposed to get according to my shoe size are too small. And if I get a size up, they feel too big. So I am really looking to replace my racing socks with something. Hopefully this is it, but we will find out. So like I said, six to seven miles today, I'm going to go tempo pace, which I haven't run tempo pace in a while, but it's, it's not a full marathon. So Hopefully I'll be okay, but I really wanna push these socks to the speed that I plan on running in the actual marathon. Now, if you're new to my channel, just a forewarning here, I am not the greatest runner in the world, nor do I pretend to be. I'm a pretty average runner, and I wanna make videos and reviews like this from the perspective of an average runner. I'm not elite. I am not going to qualify for Boston ever, but I do care about running a lot. I love running, and I just wanna give my perspective from the average Joe, the average Aaron out there logging miles in a super shoe. I even made a review about this shoe from the perspective of an average runner, so check that out on my channel. Enough talk, let's hit the dusty trail. All right, so I'm halfway through my run in the shoe socks and honestly feeling really, really good. So one of the things I look for in a pair of socks is what I don't feel. I don't wanna notice my socks. I don't want to feel like they're too loose, they're too tight, they're constricting my ankles, and I don't really notice these. I think these are a great combination of having a little bit of padding. They're not like super thin socks, but they're also, they're not like heavy, like wool, you know, thick socks. What's nice is this, tab on the heel on the Achilles goes higher than the Alpha Fly Achilles portion. I don't know what that is, the collar right there. So you're not gonna get that chafing. Um, so that's really nice. Like the whole sock is completely higher than every part of the shoe, which is a, a, a huge, huge plus. So halfway through my run, tempo run, I'm going way too fast to be honest, but I need to sort that out over the course of the summer before the marathon, but I feel really good. The, these socks are, are fantastic. Like I said, I don't notice them, which I think that is the mark of a solid sock. So I'm gonna finish this run. I'll give some final thoughts. We'll see if anything changes, and then I'll take them off and kind of see if there's any kind of wear and tear and you know damage done over my first six mile run in the shoe socks. All right, so the run is done. It was good. I really like these socks. So I do have like a little bit of fuzz. I don't know if you can see that like on the toe, kind of where my, my toe pushes up on the shoe. The Alpha Fly has kind of like a rough top surface. So I don't think it's anything major, but something to keep an eye on. But overall, these were super, super comfortable. This is not a sock that you're gonna run like every single day in. So minimal wear and tear like this isn't super concerning. This is really for like race day only. But overall, first run, 
I, I really like these. I'm excited to run these again. Definitely an upgrade over what I've been running in previously. So if you have any questions about the shoe socks, definitely let me know. Happy to answer anything. If you've run in these before and you have any thoughts, also let me know in the comments. Um, I also got the crew socks and I will run in those, uh, but I'll talk about that on my weekly vlog. So if you haven't subscribed to the Fresh Brewing Club, I make weekly vlogs, I do shoe reviews, I do sock reviews, other stuff about running, but subscribe so you don't miss uh, just my thoughts on the crew sock version of this. We'll see if it's remarkably different. There is a very loud bird. Is that a woodpecker? I don't know what that is. But anyway, that is today's video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.